Hey guys, welcome to Kipster.com. This is our first video tutorial, and today I'll give you a brief overview of Kipster's main environment, the top bar, the workspace, and the project management. Let's get started. First, let's check out the top bar. Here is where you can access to the main features of Kipster. If you need help, the SOS button allows you to enter in our help center and find the answers you need. Then we have the share button, so that you can invite your friends to join you on Keepster. If you do that, you'll be rewarded with some credits. Here you can find your notifications. For example, if someone invites you in his workspace or shares a project with you, you receive a message here. This is the workspace button, but we'll get to it later. And then we have the account manager where you can change your personal settings and information. OK, now let's take a look at the Workspace main menu. As you can see, there are four sections here. In the Project menu, you can create your own projects and manage all their resources such as files, databases, colors, fonts, etc. We will get to it later. In the second tab, the User menu, you can invite users into your workspace and set permissions according to their role. Maybe you want to share a project with your friends, but you don't want them to be able to change settings or mess up with your fonts. Well, no problem. Through this menu, you can arrange that. The third section is the server menu, where you can manage your server connections, being able to transfer your data from our infrastructure to yours. The last tab is the Analytics menu. This is particularly useful if you're working in team because this tool shows you how different users worked and performed on your project. Now, let's take a look at the various functions of the project menu. After selecting a project, we have access to all its resources. In the Products and Files menu, you can create and manage several products, such as responsive websites, web apps, and more. For each product, you can create files and folders. To-dos and feedbacks are crucial for teamwork. With this tool, you can collaborate with your team by sharing to-dos that can be scheduled in a calendar. You can also receive live feedbacks from your staff, using our built-in chat to discuss about problems and potential solutions. From the Database Management menu, you can create databases and tables or import your data from MySQL databases or CSV TSV files. As you can see, you don't need another software to manage your databases. It's all integrated in Keepster, and that makes you save a lot of time. Digital Asset Management. This is a useful feature that allows you to tag, import, embed, and manipulate your project's media assets such as images, vectors, audio, and video. You can even get assets directly from the internet using our powerful built-in web search tool. In the color set menu, you can easily choose the right color palette for your project. Keepster also helps you by providing preset color schemes and supporting different color models. The font manager allows you to choose the right fonts for your project from our free library or directly from Google Fonts. If you need, you can also upload your own. And for each font, you can check the chart map and get a sample phrase preview to be sure it's the font you're looking for. In the Styles Management menu, you can set different preset styles for every type of object. This allows you to speed up your design process and also helps you to easily change the overall style of your layout. You can try new colors, styles and fonts, and quickly experiment to set the right look to your product, even after your work is done. Next, we have the code snippet management. If you're a developer and want to hand code your product, Keepster allows you to do that and helps you in many ways. One of these ways is by giving you the opportunity to save your code snippets and use them while you're coding. You can also share them with other users and create a code snippet library with your team. And finally, there is the project info menu that simply gives you some details about the project such as description and starting date. 
That's all for now. In this tutorial, we learned about the Keepster's main environment, starting from the top bar, the workspace and project management. Feel free to browse around the demo projects available and experiment yourself what we have seen in this video. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe, like, leave a comment and share. If you want, you can check our social network pages, please find the links in the description below. See you soon on Keepster.com and remember, quick is power!